and the pack almost connect, missing a rabbit. So one thing that the sheep people want to watch out for is, every time you're about to get something, you're so close to it, it can slip away from you. But when you think you're going to lose it, it's going to come back to you. That means the sheep is into a yo-yo year. Yo-yo, up, down, up, down. So what can you do to solidify such happenings? Try to get the help from either horse person or a rabbit person. Horse or rabbit can help the sheep most. In other words, if you're doing business deals, don't do it alone. Grab the horse or grab the rabbit as a partner. That way you solidify the deals. Okay, now the next side is the monkeys. Any monkeys, 1944, 46, 68, 1892. Any monkeys? No monkeys? I can skip that one. Oh, we got monkey. There's a old Chinese saying. You know what that is? If you marry somebody by the year the monkey, you gotta climb up all of the mountains. <laughs> that means the monkeys are very agile. The monkeys are actually the second most common sign just after the ox. But they are different. You know how different they are? When the ox doesn't want to do something, it helps you. Forget a step in your ears. Okay? A monkey will not argue with you, he just won't do it. <laughs> That's the difference between the two signs. Okay, so when you go home and find out your friends, who are the ox and who are the monkeys? Okay? But the monkeys are into a promotion year. So if you're working with someone, you get to be promoted. If you're still single, you should be married. Okay? The monkeys are really into some good times this year. And there's a happiness sign for the monkey sign. So go to a lot of parties. You've got another two parties ahead of you, right? There you go. Okay, the second last sign, the roosters. 1945, 50. 769 in 193. Any losers? Losers. <clears throat> What's the loser famous for? Arguments. They make the best lawyers. They make the best lawyers. But they also make the best salesmen. Sales and marketing because they can talk. Okay. Now, the losers have suffered two years being controversies and low. They are into a power here now. The losers are one of the three most dominant travel signs this year. Try to travel more. You want to make more money, you're the rooster. Make your money through traveling. Go here, go there. Never knock yourself up behind the desk. There's a, there are two very dominant lucky signs associated with the rooster. So out of the 12 signs, the rooster this year is the number one lucky sign. Put that in mind. They're very lucky animal this year. Now last but not least is a dog. Born in 1946, 58, 70, 82, and 94. Any dogs? Wow. What stands out about the dog? They bite. Dogs are actually the number one loyal sign of the 12 signs. But hard working too. When you work hard, what do you say? You work like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> you heard a few months ago, two guys in Hong Kong, you remember two guys? I don't know read the newspaper. They tried to kill a dog and uh, ate it and they got put in jail for two years. I think they deserve it. <laughs> Anyways, the dog suffered last three years because of conflicts. This year is a turnaround. They are one. They are the number two most powerful sign this year, just after the tiger. So power, promotion, power. If you want to start a business, do it this year. Okay. If you just want to lay back and just work for someone, you get promoted. Okay, so in other words, you want to make money, you're the dog, you got to not just work hard, but you got to obtain the power. Don't be chicken. If you are the dog, not the chicken. Okay. With that, I think I cover all the 12 signs.
and I promise to allow a few minutes for you to ask questions. Okay, go ahead. Any questions? You ask questions now, it's free. Five minutes later, it costs a fortune. <laughs> so I'm <after> this point. <laughs> Any questions? No? If not, I'm going to eat my dinner. Everything clear? Well, with that, congratulations. And we have them. Um, now, let me give you guys the blessing this way I want it. Number one, I wish everybody to have good health. But this way, they don't have to cash the life insurance. <laughs> health is number one. No health, you cannot enjoy life. Number two, good relations with your wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever that is. Relation is very important. Because what keeps us living is love. You don't have love, life is not worth living. We should never live in hate, always live in love. That's number two. And what's number three? Money, mullah. But that's number three. Imagine, remember that uh, big boy girl who died a couple of weeks ago, multi million dollars? What worth it? She never had love, she never had health. She could never enjoy her million dollars. It's not worth it. You to enjoy your wealth, you must have health, you must have relation, good relation. You must be able to trust the one beside you. If you cannot even trust the one beside you, who are, who are there to share the happiness and the wealth with you. So remember, remember good health, good relations, and good money. Thank you and happy new year. Thank you.